Good afternoon, Mayfield. It is Miss McAfee, and today is Wednesday, April 19th, and our homework this week is due on Thursday because there's no school on Friday. So this is the homework. It is just the front, and we started this week working on exponents, but before then we had our quiz, and our quiz was finishing up expressions, um, expressions using percents and expressions using the distributive property. And when I went to the shoebox, I did have a couple of requests for the first problem. So sure, let's do that. Distributive property is when we're going to be looking at ways to make multiplication easier. So distributive property says if I have 7 being multiplied by the sum of 3 plus 5, that's the same thing as multiplying 7 times 3 and then adding, so there's the addition symbol, 7 times 5. So if I were to finish this problem, 7 times 3 is 21, plus 7 times 5, which is 35. And when I add these numbers up, I get 56. Just to be sure my answer is right, 3 plus 5 is 8. And of course, 7 times 8 is also 56. The second problem, we're going to be doing something similar, but now we're looking at a factor that 5 and 10 both have in common. So what number can you divide 15 and 10 both by? Obviously, we could divide by 1, right? But that's not going to change anything. 10 is even, so I would love to say I could divide them both by 2, except 2 times nothing gives me 15. And then, hey, 3 times 5 gives me 15. And 2 times 5 gives me 10. Their greatest common factor then is 5. 5 times 3 would give me the 15, minus 5 times 2 would give me the 10. And then, of course, you want to finish the problem, you could. 15 minus 10 is 5. But all that I'm really looking for in this part is that you understand how to use distributive property in either direction. So I hope that helps. Make sure that you finish the second part, deciding whether or not these expressions are equivalent and showing me or proving or telling me how you know. And then for the last one, Noah raised $54 to support the animal shelter, which is 60% of his goal. What is the actual goal? So when you're doing this, you may want to consider making a double number line. I know that 60% of the goal is $54, and I'm going to want to find 100%. So there's a little sneak peek. And of course, I'll also want you to write that equation Make sure, making sure you show me how to write 60% as either a decimal or a fraction. All right, I hope that helps, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.